hey guys so our next project is this shelf that I got from Dollar Tree and what I did next was I lined the floor with a garbage bag and I grabbed the rustic alum texture spray and gave it a good coat to give the shelf some texture And then I grabbed the brown spray paint and gave it a good coat all over. And then I layered it again with the Rustic Illum Texture Spray. And then I left it to dry for about two and a half hours. And when it was fully dried, I flipped it over and sprayed it with the brown spray. And then I left it to dry for another two hours. To add some bling to the shelf, this is what you're gonna need. And then I lined the floor with parchment paper and kept it tacked down with tape. First thing you're gonna do is grab your plastic cups. And then grab your Mod Pod, your glitter, And then you want to grab your brush and mix it in. And then you want to apply it heavily all over the shelf. And then now I'm going to apply it only on the border to give it extra bling on the outer portion of the shelf. And then I grabbed the glitter shaker and I just applied the glitter on the outer corners of the shelf. And this is how it looks when it's fully dry, nice and blinged out. So now I'm removing the parchment paper and I'm going to put the excess glitter back into the bottle. To make sure the glitter doesn't fall off and to seal it, you want to grab your Mod Podge Clear Sealer and spray it over the shelf. And this is how it came out. All right, guys, so now it's time to decorate this tissue box. So, what you'll need is the metallic gold, the plastic cups, the crushed glass, some glitter, and the metal brush from the previous project and a foam sponge and the Mod Podge. And to blink out your tissue box, your rhinestone ribbon. And then you want to grab your paint. I applied three coats and I let each coat dry before applying another one. And then I grabbed my rhinestone ribbons and I measured and pre-cut them based on the measurement of the tissue box. And then I grabbed my glue gun and applied the uh, glue on a few of the rhinestones to attach it. And then I laid it down. And then I went back in and put the glue on all of the rhinestones and attached it. 
and also as you're attaching the rhinestones to the tissue box you want to put pressure on the rhinestones to make sure that it attaches very well to the box. After you apply your rhinestones, we're going to be using a plastic cup, Mod Pod, glitter, and crushed glass. And now we're going to add some Mod Podge into the cup and mix it in with some glitter. And then you want to grab some gloves. You want to apply a decent amount to the top of the tissue box. And then you want to grab your crushed glass and pour it over the Mod Pod, tilting the bag a little bit to keep control of the amount of glass that comes out of the bag. And once you fully coat the top layer with crushed glass, pat it in and let it dry. And then what I'm doing here now is I'm putting the lid back on, grabbing a brush and using the brush to take the excess off the top layer and then also remove the bottom lid and put the excess in the cup. And this is how it came out. So I wanted to show you one more thing. With this footrest, when it hits the floor, it makes a sound. So I wanted to show you what you can use to get rid of that sound. So what you'll use is you'll use these felt pads that I got from Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna use the small circular ones. And then remove the sticker. And then place it right underneath and stick it on. No more sound. Thanks for watching. Till next time. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell.